Greetings and welcome to another video. It's Saturday 5th of October 2024 and it's a beautiful day today. Absolutely gorgeous weather going on which is fantastic and because of that uh, we're back in Admaston today. Uh, yeah, uh, Admaston is a gorgeous place. Absolutely uh, nice little place to explore. I was last here about six, seven days ago, last week, and the plan for today is to basically uh, follow the same path I explored the last time I was here, but only up to a point. Because at a certain point, which we'll uh, talk about when we get there, at a certain point, we'll be going off in a completely different direction. A direction I've not yet explored here in Admaston. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this and uh, I hope you who are watching this video enjoy the walkabout we're doing this afternoon. So yeah, uh, as I said the weather is absolutely gorgeous today and uh, it's perfect October weather in my opinion. And October is a fantastic month easily my favourite month of the year because it's Halloween season so yeah it's going to be good it's going to be good with that in mind let's get started find out where we are in Admaston and carry on accordingly so yeah let's do that let's carry on As you can see, we're starting today's video once again at Admiston House Community Centre. And yeah, there's the notice board with local information going on. And also right next to it you can see a mini library where you can bring books to donate here to be shared around for anyone who's interested. And we've seen many libraries like this in different parts of Telford in Coldbrookdale, in Little Dorley uh, and yeah it's good to see one here in Admaston I love stuff like this it's really interesting stuff so from here we're going to turn around and head across the car park So yeah, here we are on the other side of the car park and before we go any further I just want to have a look at this thing here which was mentioned in my video last week when I was last here in Admaston but I figured it's an interesting little landmark Admaston Green 2002 so yeah, and right next to it is this outdoors gym. You see outdoor gyms like this in various parts of Telford, uh, like uh, the Princess Royal Hospital, uh, up in Dorley by uh, Dorley Park, and uh, Nearby the malt, sho malt shovel pub in the Gomery, so yeah. And you've got this little thing over here, which again we talked about last week. This is the starting point of the Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve 50 Tree Trail and this is the Siberian Elm. Now we mentioned the 50 Tree Trail before in last week's video and also in a couple of videos made in August when I was exploring Dot Hill Nature Reserve 
it's good stuff. Really, it's a really interesting trail to follow for anyone who's interested. So yeah, nice one. So as you can see, Admaston Green here is a really nice place to visit, a really beautiful part of Admaston. So yeah, definitely worthwhile visiting here, anyone who's able to do so. But yeah. So with that in mind, let's carry on and get to where we want to go today. And to begin with, we're going to cut across this field to find the path we're looking for today. Let's carry on. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. And everyone who's watched my video from last week will recognise where I am at the moment and to get to where we want to go today this is where we want to be just gonna head down the steps Now at the moment, this path here that I'm looking at right now is part of a silken way. And if we were to follow this path in the direction I'm facing, that'll take us down to Wellington. And it's a really good path to explore. Uh, I made a video following this path uh, a few weeks ago, where I started down in Wellington, followed this path up to where up to where I'm standing at the moment, and then I followed the path off in the direction that I'm looking at now. And if we were to follow the path in the direction that I'm facing at the moment, we'll end up in Bratton, where the uh, Silken Way starts. So that's good. It's really good. Like I said, this section of path is absolutely gorgeous to follow, especially on a day like today. But as for this afternoon, what we want to do is go up these steps. But we're not going to go up these steps. Instead, to get up there, we're going to go slightly over here, as there's somewhere, something I want to have a look at before we go any further. And it's this signpost here, which will people recognise if they've been uh, from previous videos. As you can see, we're on the Silken Way. And to get to Bratton, it's three quarters of a mile to my right. So Bratton is, as I said a minute ago, down in that direction. On the other hand, to get to Wellington is one and three quarter miles in that direction that I'm looking at now. But as I said, we're not going in either of those directions. We're heading off toward, or following the path that points in the direction of Horton Wood and Telford Town Centre.
which is up this little this little bit of hillage this little hill here so yeah And as you can see here, welcome to Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve, which is along this path here in front of me, and it's this way we want to go today. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, as I said before, we did follow this path when I was here last week. And as we found out at the time, this path will continue on to Dot Hill. But we're not going as far as Dot Hill today. Like I said, we're going off in a slightly different direction. So, yeah. I think I've been very lucky uh, with the weather being nice today considering the past few days or so uh, well best part of last month was uh, bad weather raining all the time pretty much so yeah I'm really grateful the weather's nice like it is today Makes it ideal for, well, being out and about exploring like we are. And yeah, this is the bridge we saw in last week's video. Admaston Bridge is the name of this bridge and it comes across this stream here I really enjoy it here, it's really nice definitely should come by here more often So yeah. So yeah. I 
and this is where we got to last week now when I was last here in my, making my previous video I followed the path in front of me and the path in front of me uh, will take you all the way to Dot Hill and it's a fantastic path to explore but we're not going that way today well uh, I would encourage people to explore this path if they're able to do so as from here you can find your way along the Silken Way toward heading toward Horton Wood and Town Centre but like I say we're not going this way today and we've got this uh, signpost talking about Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve in one of my previous videos exploring Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve back in August I did talk in detail about the information you can find that you can find on uh, this particular signpost so if you're interested by all means check out one of my Dot Hill videos from August and uh, you can you should be able to find a video where I'm talking about this in more detail in the meantime the direction we want to go in today is this path here to my right yeah so when I was last here I did mention this particular path I'm looking at right now looked really interesting and I wanted to explore it and that's what's going on today we're back to see where it goes to and as you can see the path just opens up quite a bit if we look to my right you've got this bench and more of a stream we looked at a minute ago I don't know uh, where this stream starts and I don't know where it heads off to so uh, it'd be good to look into that at some point and perhaps explore more in the direction in front of me well it's absolutely gorgeous here before today and especially before last week I had no idea this place existed so I'm really glad I'm back here now having an, having an explore now it looks like we're able to explore the woodland in front of me by following a bit of a path in front of me but I'll keep an eye on that because what I want to do is head over here to my left because we're heading off in the direction I'm walking now because I think this is where the path leads us maybe and as you can see to my left we've got another signpost for the Dot Hill 50 Tree Trail and this is number four and this particular tree is a European lovers so yeah that's interesting yeah I would recommend anyone able to do so to come this way 
and check out this 50 tree trail it's definitely worth checking out and if you're unable to come by here in person I imagine uh, there's information online somewhere if you I run Facebook or Google look up Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve and see if you can find links to this 50 tree trail hopefully you'll uh, find the information uh, you need or you don't want so yeah in the meantime let's carry on this way now it looks like yeah to my right here we've got a path going off well somewhere to my right but we'll uh, explore that another day I think and we've got another path going off to my left yeah it's an interesting looking path to explore well, I'll have to come back another day and check that out in the meantime let's stick to this path in front of us because I have a suspicion about where this path in front of me goes to and I'd like to think predict that this path hooks up to somewhere I've been already in one of my previous videos but we'll know for sure when we get there and if we look here looks like there's another footpath to explore off to my right and another path to my left that's going to be worth exploring at some point it's really good absolutely gorgeous but in the meantime what we want to do is go this way Okay, so path opens up to what you're looking at at the moment, and I wasn't uh, wasn't quite expecting this. And as you can see, the path there's a path going off to my left here. And if we look, yeah. Now I'm thinking this path may, this path to my left, that I'm looking at right now, will connect to the path I was exploring last time, last week basically. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what's this way. As you can see, the uh, scenery is absolutely gorgeous. I could spend all afternoon here taking photos. Uh, of everything I'm looking at quite easily right there's a signpost 
in front of me. I think I recognise that signpost. Uh, we'll talk about it when we get there. Well, it looks familiar from this distance, I think. Let's uh, take a closer look at that signpost in the distance. Yep, I thought so. Uh, it looked familiar. We were at this spot uh, when I was making my previous video last week. And I'll just take a closer look. We were at the... This is at the crossroads of a cross path. We were at last time and if we have a look basically from here we can get to Shawbirch which is half a mile half a mile off in this direction basically so yeah when I was here last time I said that I wanted to come back to this path and explore the path in front of me and make my way to Shawbirch from here. So yeah, it's really good. Uh, we're not going to do that now, but hopefully later on today, if not next weekend maybe, depending on the weather. But yeah, I'd like to explore this path off to Shawbirch. In the meantime... The path I'm looking at at the moment, this is the path we explored last week, last Saturday. And if we were to follow the path in the direction I'm facing, we'll get to Dot Hill, which is what we saw happen in last week's video. And beyond Dot Hill, as you can see, you can uh, also get to Horton Wood in Telford Town Centre. However, on the other hand, if you want to head back to Bratton, Bratton is back along the path I'm looking at now, which is part of the path I explored last week. And if we were to follow the path in the direction I'm facing at the moment, we'd end up back in Admaston, where we started this video. But we're not going that way today. Instead, we're going to return to this path and what we're going to do is go back along this path to where we were a few minutes ago so yeah ah, it's pretty interesting I'm glad, it, I'm glad things turned out the way we have just now that's uh, good stuff but yeah, let's uh, get back to where I was a few minutes ago. Okay then, as you can see, we're back where we were at a few minutes ago. And if we have a look to my right, all right, if we were to follow the path that I'm looking at right now, that's the path we explored earlier on, and going that way in the direction I'm facing, will take us back to where we started this video, back in Admiston. So with that in mind, we're going to go well, left or straight on, however, however it goes. We're going to follow the path in this direction and see where it takes me. Now, I suspect, I predict, following this path in front of me will connect me back to 
somewhere I was at in one of my previous videos. I'm fairly sure it will. And what I mean by that, well, I'll talk about that when we get there, basically. In the meantime, just look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. So after walking just a few feet, I recognise this section of path. I think I was here before, yeah. See this little path off to my right here that goes into the woodland? Yeah. I explored this path in one of my videos back in August, exploring Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve. I went into the woodland in front of me and that connected me to another bridge further down the path which means that we could go back that way like we did back in August but at the same time we also explored along here and it's this way I want to go at the moment so I can connect things up properly Because, yeah, if we have a look behind me, if we have a bit of a turnaround, this path I'm looking at at the moment is a path I've been exploring so far. And if we were to go back in the direction I'm looking at right now, it'll take us back to where we started this video. But I think it's going to make a lot more sense if we just stick to the path and come along this direction and I know, I remember where it's going to take us this way Isn't that a gorgeous thing to look at, those trees? The autumn leaves, the oranges, the browns, the reds. Autumn is a very, very colourful and beautiful time of year, let's be honest. But yeah, let's carry on this way and the path turns to our right in a few yards, so let's go and have a look at it. Yeah, we're almost at where we want to be. And if you remember, earlier on, I said I had a prediction that the path I'm on would connect to somewhere I've been to before. And here we are. We've got another, well, crossroads going on. And what I want to draw your attention to at the moment is this bridge to my left and yeah we've been here before this is where we've been before in one of my videos exploring Dot Hill back in August and as you can see you've got the signpost pointing to my left pointing toward Admaston and saying that if you follow this path here if you follow this path you'll end up back in Admaston which we know is going to happen because we've come from Admaston 
followed this path and found ourselves where we're standing at the moment. And of course, Deville. Uh, Deville? Yeah. If we were to follow that signpost to my right, following this path that's in front of me right now, that will take us to Deville. I've never been that way before, to be honest, and it'll be worth exploring. So I'll have to come back, I'll have to remember to come back here at another time to see what the, well, to basically explore this path in front of me. In the meantime, if we have a look here as well, Tea Lake. If we're to follow that sign to Tea Lake across this bridge, then we'll end up in, well, further into Dot Hill Local Nature Reserve. And here we are on Dot Hill Bridge, basically. Now, I'm not going to follow the path in front of me because I've already explored the path in front of me in one of my videos back in August, exploring Dot Hill Nature Reserve. So, yeah, I would be very grateful if everyone went back to check out those videos. They're really good stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah, like I just said, I'm not going to explore the paths in front of me because I've already done so in August. And if anyone's interested in those videos, by all means, I would, uh, I would be grateful if you did check out those videos because they're, in my opinion, really interesting videos worthwhile checking out. So what we're going to do instead is turn around behind me and you'll see this woodland path in front of me now. We're going to see where this goes. Now I did briefly explore a section of the woodland I'm walking through at the mud walking through right now uh, back in August you'll see how that occurred in the video that I made at the time but right now I'm curious if a path I'm on at the moment links back to where we were earlier on, crossing Admaston Bridge. Let's see if we can have a look. I'm not sure this path I'm on at the moment will connect back to where I was earlier on. But it's worth thinking about and maybe checking out so as you can see the path opens up to this field in front of us we've got a couple of well-worn footpaths to my left which might be worth exploring another day to be honest Definitely, but if we have a look this way, you might be able to see what I see at the moment, and uh, there's a bit of a worn out path, footpath here. I don't know how well. Uh, what I'm looking at is showing up in the video right now because of the sun coming down But as you can see that's the uh, Reakin in front of us in the distance It's a really good view of the Reakin over there
yeah what I'm going to do is pause the video for a moment and carry on in front of me and I'll start recording again uh, in a few minutes so yeah the plan is just to follow this footpath type path in front of me and we'll see how it pans out see you in a few minutes new plan I've only walked maybe uh, three or four feet but I've just seen something which has changed my plans a little bit firstly I want to show you the field I'm standing at, at the moment it's an absolutely gorgeous place so yeah absolutely beautiful Now I could go exploring in the direction that I'm facing, in the direction that I'm looking at, but to be honest, um, I might do that another day. Instead, what I want to do is check out this path I've just noticed on my right. We're going to come down this little path here. It's one of those paths that's slightly hidden so unless you happen to spot it it's easily missed but it's still a legitimate path and it's this way I want to take us yeah I wonder if it's this way that I'll connect us back to where we were earlier on I'm hoping so it would be nice So yeah, as, as you see, I've just walked further along the path. Uh, there was a group of people I've just passed. And yeah, that's why I paused recording, because I wasn't sure they'd... Uh, yeah, wasn't sure if they'd appreciate me walking past, catching them on tape, on video. But no, like I say, here we are further along the path. I'm not entirely sure where we are at the moment. Wait, now I know. Now I know, this is where we were at earlier on. Okay, so we have a look here. Right, so this is a path we were at earlier on. And this path in front of us, as we've seen, will take us down to Dot Hill Bridge okay so as we know where the path in front of me goes we're not going that way we're going to come back here and when I was when I was here about half an hour ago I did notice this path this path I'm looking at is literally where we just came from and I did notice it and I said I wonder where that leads to now I know this path I'm looking at also leads back to Dot Hill Bridge really good so that means what we want to do now is follow this path in front of me the path I'm looking at now and this will take us back to Admaston Bridge 
I like the way this panned out. I was hoping all of this would be a big loop and the path I explored in this video would at some point loop back on itself. I just didn't know how how it would happen. Well, that's good. I'm glad, I really am glad things panned out this way. It's a good time situation. So we're back here, and if we have a look to my left, This is a stream we were looking at earlier on, up towards the start of this video. And if we come over here, we'll be back near the start. Sorry. That's my fault. Don't worry. So yeah, this is where we were at earlier on. So this is the uh, Dart Hill Nature Reserve information sign. I was talking about earlier on and as we know from last week this is the path, the path I'm looking at now will take us to Dot Hill and also at one point it'll connect us to the path we've been exploring in this video which is pretty decent and as we know as we so, earlier on, this path here takes us back to Admaston. So yeah, what we're going to do now is uh, pause recording and then make our way back to Admaston basically. Let's carry on. So here we are, back where we started our video today, at Admaston Green. Nice one. So yeah, I'm glad I've taken the time to explore the, the uh, path I explore today is really good. I've been meaning to explore the way I did today since August at the earliest so yeah it's gone pretty well uh, gone very well so I'm glad and I hope that you uh, watching this video have enjoyed it too so yeah thank you for everyone who's taken the time to watch this video and also thank you for everyone taking the time to watch all of my videos or however it goes I really do appreciate everyone who tunes in to uh, watch the videos that I make so thank you on that note I'm going to end this video here I'm sorry it went on for longer than uh, expected but there was just so much to take note of so much interesting things going on so yeah but like I say, thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this video. I do appreciate it. I'm going to end the video here. And I'm going to wish you all take care of yourselves. Be safe. Have a good time. And I'll see you all soon in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.